Thanks for visiting Publicity.com. I'm Lonnie Casina, CEO and founder of Media Relations. Millions of dollars have flowed into our hybrid agency year after year continuously for almost three decades. I think the work we did for Breathe Right Nasal Strips illustrates why our agency's unique approach to promoting products has become so popular with so many companies. Take a look at this brief clip from almost 25 years ago and I'll be back to explain why I think it's so significant. It's a bit of business history. In tonight's extra, a Twin Cities company whose bread and butter is finding people places to talk. With nearly 400 syndicated radio and television talk shows currently on the air, it's obvious people are tuning in. Now, getting on one of those shows can be a quick ticket to the big time for authors, inventors, or anyone with a product or idea to share. Tonight, Carol Evans' Gail Pawaki tells us how a Bloomington man is turning the need for publicity into profit. Really funny, this woman, she goes into like this trance or what have you and becomes Elvis and then she takes calls from the listeners so it makes for a real good show. <laughs> Dr. Dan Cohen, president of a small medical devices company in Chan Hassan, is among those who has turned to media relations to promote a new product. We don't have the kind of resources that a pharmaceutical firm would have to spend millions of dollars on uh, media advertisement. We simply cannot do that. In addition, Cohen can see advantages to promoting this new product, which is designed to help snoring and other breathing disorders, by going on talk shows. I would love to be able to take somebody from the audience who has a cold or a sinus problem or allergies and literally bring them up and put it on. And he pointed at me and said, you're, you're George Holiday, right? And talk shows allow enough time to engender sympathy for guests. George Holliday, the man who shot the video of the Rodney King meeting, is a client of Media Relations. Thanks to the Bloomington Company, he and his attorney appeared on hundreds of shows across the country, voicing their position that Holliday should have been compensated for media use of the now famous pictures. And I'm just thankful that you were there to give us a glimpse of what's happening all over this country. Anything to say for the intro? Cochina well, thinks the future is bright uh, for media relations and strong. the best way to get out any uh, message. You know, advertising tends to be tuned out, whereas uh, the talk radio and, the, and the, the, the news format programs are the meat and potatoes of what people watch. But in addition to its effectiveness, Cochina says there's another reason people go on talk shows. I think ego is a big part of it. People love to see themselves on the news. Hello, everyone, and welcome again to the American Entrepreneur. I'm Lonnie Casina. And, and he ought to know. He feeds his a little every week when he stars in his very own radio show. Uh, I'd also like to welcome a new affiliate, WTAZ in Peoria, Illinois. We're gonna Gail Plowacki, CARE 11 News, Bloomington. You have to forgive some of the silliness you just saw. 25 years ago, talk programming was in its infancy, and many shows required goofy products and goofy guests. Fortunately for everyone, the media has expanded exponentially, and now there are endless avenues for serious products and serious stories. But what I find amazing about this clip is Dan's foresight into the significance of leading with content rather than ads. Yes, he admits he didn't have millions to spend like the big pharma companies, but he was also certain if we could just get him in front of reporters and producers where he could tell his story, he'd get both customers and distribution. And he was right. For two years, Dr. Dan did every media appearance we arranged for him. It didn't matter if it was a radio show that ran at three in the morning or primetime news. Dan knew the power of media coverage and he milked it for all it was worth. Today, the power of content over ads has become more evident. The masses shun ads and embrace content. Not only do they embrace content, through the emergence of social media, they have the power to engage in it. Our staff is eager to help you connect with the media and other social channels in order to promote your products, and we'd be really happy to hear from you.